Hello and welcome to a quick start video for deploying the XDM server. I would like to demonstrate the Configuration Manager utility that enables you to configure and deploy the XDM server. I will also demonstrate the Diagnostic Dashboard utility, which presents the XDM server status, statistics and diagnostics information, and provides means to troubleshoot problems or even investigate the logs if necessary. The dashboard also supports some basic server actions such as server stop and server restart. We'll finalize with few command line utilities to complete the set of toolbox available for you to manage the XDM server. Let's start with the deployment flow. There are three simple steps. First, you run Mentor Installer to install the required products. Now you have the option to modify the default configuration of the XDM server and you are ready to deploy the XDM server. Once you've finished installing the XDM server, the System Utilities Toolbox and XDM server applications such as XDM Design Services or XDM Library Server Integration, you will find few shortcuts under the Start menu. Under Expedition Enterprise VX 1.1 Open the System Utilities Toolbox and run the Configuration Manager utility. The Configuration Manager utility is mainly an editor of the XDM server pending configuration, but not only. This utility provides on-the-fly checking, documentation and test capabilities, as well as the option to import and export the XDM server configuration. I will also demonstrate few server actions that you can launch from it. The structure of the Configuration Manager is straightforward. The top menu bar provides the option to import and export configuration file as well as an option to restore all default configuration values. Just below it, you have the Smart Server Actions bar which you toggle to hide or show. One option is to test your configuration and when you are satisfied with the results you can launch the deployment of the XDM server. On the left you see a list of resources optionally used by the XDM server. By selecting each resource you get a form with fields that configure the resource. While on the right side of the screen, you have the option to learn more about the resource configuration by using the question and answers, opening the correlated chapter in the user's guide PDF file, and even launching a short training video. Let's use an example to learn more about the editor. I select the resource XDM server load. For each field, you have a supporting pop-up bubble with help about the field. The editor will run validation as you modify the values. The color codes are simple. If you modify the value, the label of the resource will become green. This indicates that you need to save your changes. If any of the fields did not pass the validation rule, the resource label will become red. For some resources, you have additional tests to check your configuration. You can always restore the default value or undo changes. Once you click Save All, those settings will become the pending configuration which will be used once you start the deployment of the XDM server. The Smart Server Actions will remind you to start the deployment. The progress of the deployment is dynamically reflected and you can also view more details about it. Now it's time to run the Diagnostic Dashboard. Use the shortcut under the System Utilities Toolbox and you will see a similar Smart Server Actions bar which will continue to present the deployment progress.
The Diagnostic Dashboard has a menu bar that allows navigation between three tabs – Home, Dashboard and Performance. On the right, you have an option to export the logs to a zip file, and under Settings, you can modify settings of the Diagnostic Dashboard and the alerts. This is straightforward and therefore out of scope for this quick start video. By now, you can see that the deployment of the server is progressing and completed successfully. You can click to view the details about the deployment log. The Home tab provides a status of several diagnostic checks. It also provides the client access information and other general information about the XDM server, such as the active configuration. Moreover, you have the option to filter through the full list of server events, and at the bottom you get a color-coded timeline with zoom-in and filter capabilities. The Dashboard tab is built from several widgets. Each widget provides detailed diagnostics information. For example, the XDM server uptime provides statistics about the uptime of the XDM server and its processes. The Log Scanner widget provides filtering capabilities of errors inside the logs. It also provides a link to the Troubleshooter utility to investigate errors and even suggest a solution to solve them. Under the Performance tab you get the threshold of few XDM server resources. For example, the percent of memory in use. The graph allows zoom in and filtering capabilities. There are other utilities that are not available through the Configuration Manager nor by the Diagnostic Dashboard. Those are mainly management utilities for backup and restore or deployment utilities such as Server Maintenance Mode and Server Undeploy. For these utilities, you will need to use the command line utilities. A shortcut for opening a console is available for you. The goal of the quick start video is to give you a very fast understanding about the main utilities that you need in order to configure, deploy and manage the XDM server. You use the configuration manager utility to set the configuration, to test your settings and finally to deploy the XDM server. And you use the diagnostic dashboard to monitor the server and successfully manage it. The following videos will cover all those topics and more with much more detailed information.